12 Strange Signs That Your Body Needs More Iodine This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you suspect an iodine deficiency. 1. Constant Cold Feet One of the most common signs of an iodine deficiency is constantly having cold feet. When you don't have enough iodine, your thyroid gland slows down and it doesn't make enough hormones. This causes your body to generate less heat, so you tend to feel the cold more than other people, especially in your feet or hands. 2. Eyebrow Hair Loss If the hairs on the outer parts of your eyebrows are thinning out or disappearing, this could also be a sign that your thyroid is slow because of low levels of iodine. What happens is the hair follicles go into a shorter growth cycle and the hairs shed away more easily. The hair on your scalp may also start to thin out in some cases of iodine deficiency. Sign number three is unexplained weight changes. If you've noticed that you're gaining a lot of weight without changing your diet, this could also be a sign that your thyroid has slowed down because of low iodine, causing your metabolism to drop and you begin storing more fat. This makes it harder for you to burn calories which leads to gradual weight gain. This slow weight gain could also be caused by high levels of stress and cortisol as well, so bear that in mind. 4. Dry Mouth the glands in your mouth that make saliva need iodine to work properly. But if you're lacking in iodine, they may not make as much saliva, which causes you to have a dry mouth. This is very common in people who do too much intermittent fasting, because the fasting depletes iodine, magnesium and other important minerals. I suggest eating more seafood outside your fasting window to raise your iodine levels, but we'll talk more about this later. 5. Breast Tenderness and Cysts Breast tissue absorbs and uses iodine every day to stay healthy. Without enough iodine, however, the breasts can become swollen, painful or grow cysts inside. Cysts on the ovaries also occur more often in women who have low levels of iodine. Japanese women, however, who consume 25 times more iodine than people in the US, have much lower rates of fibrocystic breasts and breast cancer. This is because they tend to eat more seafoods which are rich in iodine and other trace minerals that support hormone balance. Number 6 is Heavy Periods Women also tend to have heavier menstrual cycles when they don't have enough iodine. You see, iodine helps to balance out hormones, especially estrogen and progesterone in the liver. Without enough iodine, however, estrogen levels can begin to rise a little too high, causing the lining of your uterus to thicken more than usual. This results in much heavier bleeding during menstruation, as the body sheds the thicker uterine lining. 7. Frequent Urination in Men In men, when estrogen levels rise too high because of low iodine, this can cause their prostate glands to start growing and enlarging, and this puts pressure on the tubes connected to your bladder, making you have a constant urge to urinate even when there isn't much urine coming out. You may also have lots of trips to the bathroom in the middle of the night with prostate enlargement. Boosting your iodine levels, magnesium, zinc and potassium can all help with this problem and also getting your blood sugars under control. Sign number 8 is Stomach Ulcers the cells in your stomach lining also need lots of iodine to help build a protective barrier of mucus. Without enough iodine, this mucus shield begins to weaken and disappear, and this allows harmful bacteria like H. pylori to damage the stomach lining. This leads to painful stomach ulcers and gastritis over time. Taking too many painkillers like ibuprofen can also weaken the stomach lining as well. You may want to watch my video called 4 Foods to Heal Stomach Ulcers for more support with this problem. Sign 9 is a lower neck lump. A swollen lump at the base of the neck is also a classic sign of a thyroid problem. 
This swelling, which is called a goiter, often appears with an iodine deficiency. These are usually painless, but they can feel quite tight or uncomfortable, especially when you're swallowing or turning your neck. The lack of iodine causes the thyroid gland to become swollen and enlarged, forming this lump. Be sure to speak with your doctor if you notice any persistent lumps on your body, it's extremely important to get them checked out. 10. Bleeding Gums Low levels of iodine can also weaken your immune system, making it harder for your body to fight off the harmful bacteria in the mouth. As I previously mentioned, you also make less saliva because the glands in your mouth use iodine to help make it. These issues allow harmful bacteria to build up along the gum line, causing inflammation, bleeding and eventually gum disease. Boosting your iodine and vitamin C intake helps to fight off this bacteria and to heal your gums. As a side note, swishing your mouth daily with wheatgrass juice in water can also help to kill the bacteria and heal the gums. Number 11 is Vertical Nail Ridges It's very normal to have these small fine lines that run from the top of your nails to the base. But if these lines start becoming larger and turning into deeper ridges, this could be a sign of a thyroid problem linked to an iodine deficiency. Low iodine can also reduce blood flow to the nails so they get less oxygen and nutrients reaching them. This causes the nail to weaken and become brittle and forms these deeper cracks or ridges. Which links me into number 12 which is fungal nails. As the low iodine situation causes poor circulation to the nail bed, harmful pathogens like dermaphrotites, yeasts or moulds can infect your nail. This is why many people apply some povidone iodine drops to kill off fungal toenail infections because iodine is a very powerful antimicrobial and it helps to kill and destroy these invaders. By getting enough iodine into your diet from food sources, you also strengthen your immune system from the inside out. And I'd also like to talk about pregnancy in relation to iodine. Pregnant women need higher levels of iodine to support their baby's growth and brain development. Iodine is essential for producing the thyroid hormones which are crucial for both the mother and the baby. An iodine deficiency can sadly increase the risk of miscarriage and it may even lead to learning disabilities like ADHD or developmental delays in the child when they're born. Getting enough iodine from healthy foods or food-based supplements can both protect the mother's health and the baby's future well-being. Testing for iodine Checking your iodine levels is a very good step to take if you suspect you have a deficiency. Your doctor can order you a very simple urinary iodine test which measures your recent iodine intake since most of the iodine you consume is excreted through your urine. For a clearer picture, your doctor may also request a blood sample to check your thyroid hormones as low iodine usually causes thyroid hormone changes. Why am I low in iodine? Iodine is used by cells throughout your body in at least nine different types of tissues, especially in the glands like the thyroid, the thymus, ovaries and prostate, and also by the hippocampus in your brain. Iodine is also used to support healthy skin and wound healing both on the inside and the outsides of your body. As you can see here, adults need at least 150 micrograms per day and pregnant or breastfeeding women need higher amounts. In Europe, it's estimated that around 50% of the population has some level of iodine deficiency, mostly because the land we grow our food in is now depleted of iodine as farmers don't tend to put it back into the soils like they do with nitrogen or potassium for example. Also, people who don't eat seafoods or dairy very often may not be getting enough iodine from their food. Halogens like fluoride and chlorine which are added to the tap water, toothpastes and mouthwash can also deplete iodine levels when they get absorbed by the body. 
Not getting enough of another mineral called selenium in your diet can also slow the thyroid, which makes it eat up more of your iodine reserves. Eating large amounts of goiterogenic foods like peanuts, soy, gluten-free foods which use millet, or cassava can all block iodine absorption. And women who are pregnant or lactating also use up more iodine reserves. A deficiency in tyrosine from not eating enough protein in your diet may also prevent iodine from being used to make thyroid hormones. So, as you can see, there are a range of different reasons that you may become deficient in iodine. So let's take a look at how you can boost up your iodine levels naturally. Firstly, start eating more sea vegetables that are rich in iodine, copper and other trace minerals. I suggest sprinkling seaweed flakes or dulci granules over salads, soups, stir fries or your eggs. You can also snack on roasted nori sheets which are the kind that are used for sushi to get a good dose of iodine. If you want to take a supplement, the most absorbable form of iodine is from something called Nutrigenesis. Unlike iodine from other supplements, this form of iodine is cultivated naturally through fermentation, which helps your body absorb the iodine better because it also has some naturally occurring enzymes and cofactors. I'll put a link down below the video to this supplement, and it's also available in a natural multivitamin form as well, which is what I personally take. Tap Water Filters to prevent halogens from tap water depleting your iodine, consider using a filter that attaches to the pipework in your home. These are designed to filter out harmful chemicals and make your tap water safer to drink. I also suggest switching to a natural fluoride-free toothpaste which uses herbal extracts instead to clean your teeth. Sea salt also contains small amounts of iodine and other trace minerals so you may want to use more of this. Regular table salt has been iodized to help prevent these deficiencies, but it's very poorly absorbed and it contains harmful anti-caking agents and heavy metals that are not good for your health. Fasting and electrolytes. If you do intermittent fasting or prolonged fasting, your body uses up more minerals like iodine and magnesium for your metabolism. When you're fasting, I suggest using a good quality electrolyte powder to put some of these minerals that you need back into your body. Make sure to eat enough whole protein sources, especially from fish, meat, shellfish and grass-fed cheese. These foods will contain some iodine but also tyrosine, which helps your thyroid to make the thyroid hormones. When not to take iodine. If you have an overactive thyroid or hyperthyroidism, taking iodine supplements may make the problem worse. You still need some of it in your diet, but do be careful not to overdo it from supplements. In terms of supplements, I suggest avoid using the kelp powder, as these usually contain a little too much iodine, which may cause toxicity when you overuse it. Also, avoid supplements which contain sodium iodide or iodic acid. These forms aren't natural, but they're synthetic and they're very poorly absorbed. I'd stick with the Performance Lab Natural Nutrigenesis form for the best effects. For more useful information on health and nutrition, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.